Bianca Scogan Beauty. Okay, how are you doing today? Uh, I have another unboxing palooza. I don't know why I call it that, I think it's fun. But I'm opening a lot of boxes today. If my makeup looks weird, it's because it should. I just did a concealer, no, foundation declutter, and I put every single one of my foundations on my face, and then I mixed them all together. So it, it's a little interesting. It looks a little interesting right now. But I think it's kind of fun too. <laughs> It's very much more full coverage than I expected. But anyway, so today I have BoxyCharm. Yeah, did I pick up BoxyCharm again? Yeah, I did. I canceled it and then I have it again. So I think I'm gonna be doing BoxyCharm versus Zipsy again because I like them. I like them. It's a fun video for me. BoxyCharm, regular, $27.99, base box. And then I have the Ipsy, this is the Ipsy Plus, which is $28. And these are both for April. Yes, it's May, but it was a busy month. It's been a busy couple of months for me, so yay. Then um, Odin's Eye did some mystery boxes and I bought both of them. They had a small size and a large size. So the small size was $45, but if you used anybody's affiliate code, you could get 10% off. And so I got it for like $39.50. And then there was the large size, which was $75. And uh, I believe the large size has eight items and the small size has four to five items. I guess we'll see. But they're both worth at least double the price that I paid for them. So let's do some unboxing of all of these boxes and have fun while we're doing it. Let's start with BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm, it comes with a card and it is the BoxyCharm, the Boxy Spring Revival, hashtag Boxy Spring Revival. So um, I believe I get an extra because I, this was the month that I re-signed up for BoxyCharm so I got an extra item. I don't know which one it is, but okay. Um, also, here's a little fun fact. BoxyCharm sent me an email saying that, hey, you got two items that we've already sent you before in this box, so we're gonna give you a credit. So I think they gave me like $20, $25 of credit to spend in like their pop-up sales. So there's actually three items in this box that I already have, but one of them I got from an Ipsy before, so I, even though Ipsy owns BoxyCharm, technically BoxyCharm doesn't know that I got it. Anyways, six items in, that, in here, three are repeats, but I have $25 credit that I'll spend next month. So, eh, you know, it was nice that they did that, that they recognized that they sent me repeats and gave me a credit for it. And then I can get put them either on a Poshmark when I make it one day, or I can give them away in a giveaway when I get 500 subscribers. So here we go. I got this Kristoff Robin. Um, it is a instant volumizing leave-in mist. I have gotten this before and I put it in a giveaway because I already have very volumized thick hair. So it's not something that I need and not something that I want. So it will go in, now I have two for a giveaway, I guess. Um, let's see, what else do I already own? Here we go. Um, I already own this Illamasqua Artistry Palette Unveiled. Let me get the one that I already has already been opened. Here is mine that I already have and has already been opened. So it looks like this. And I accidentally gouged a finger into that one. So I will, um, I actually put this one to put in a give, like to, to give away to friends. But now that I have two, maybe I'll try this one out and give this one, in, this nicer one in a giveaway or put this one on Poshmark and give this one to friends or put this one in a giveaway and give this one to friends. I don't know. I feel like this one looks, oh guys. I just got, that wasn't good. I just got this Patrick Ta. Um, what is this? Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 2. Is this pretty similar? It looks like the first Patrick Ta and the second Patrick Ta because the one row is brown, one row is rose. Anywho, anywho, that's just, just a thought, just a thought. So those are the two items that BoxyCharm knows that they already sent me. The other item is from 
Lucky Chick. It's a liquid eyeshadow. And I got this one in an Ipsy. So I do already, and it's the shade Rose Quartz. So I do already own this one. And it is absolutely stunning. It is gorgeous. I love it. So it will be going giveaway slash Poshmark. I don't know. Three things that I already have. Here are the three things that BoxyCharm got me that I have never, I don't own or I didn't own. Okay, so this is from Beauty Bakery. It is the Sour You Doing. And I do like Beauty Bakery's theme, that they have everything is this like cute like bakery theme. Um, I have their um, flower powder, which I thought was really cute. And this seems to be really summery and really just cute. I like that. It's an eyeshadow palette. It has um, some really fun, like warm, warm summery colors. And I don't really need any more eyeshadow palettes, but these colors really do, I really do like these colors. They really scream spring to me and fall for that matter. Um, and summer for that matter, just not winter. <laughs> so I think I might, and it looks like there is maybe a multi-chrome. Oh, you can't really tell, but that one is a little bit multi chrome -y. So that one, I am going to hold on to that and see what happens. So I've had two eyeshadow palettes, which is, you know, that's pretty big. That's pretty, that's a lot from Item Beauty. This is actually my first Item Beauty product, which is interesting because Item Beauty took, or Addison Rae took over a Ipsy X and I didn't get any Item Beauty anything. So interesting. This is the Lash Snack Lengthening Mascara. So cool, cool. Mascaras, I go through them pretty fast because you're supposed to change them out. So nice. I'm glad to have a Item Beauty product and it'd be a mascara. So that's pretty cool. Then I have a, my last thing that I got in here. And I do like that everything's always wrapped really nicely so that things don't break. We got a anti-puff, anti-dark circle serum. We get a lot of eye serums in these boxes. I mean, I usually get eye creams, not eye serums. So actually, I don't think I have an eye serum. So that's actually kind of cool. Let me add up the worth of that box. Actually, I don't know how much, it doesn't say how much the El Masca thing is on here because that was like my free gift for re-signing up for BoxyCharm. So let's see, I paid $28 for this box, not including tax, and it is worth, it's worth 152, not including the Illa Masca. So, but if you subtract the things that I already own, which is this Kristoff um, volume, which is $39, so minus 39. And then you subtract this Rose Quartz, so minus 22, it's $91. I, and I never added the Illa Masca in there, so I'm not subtracting it. So it's $91. I spent 28 and it's still worth $91, even with those two extras, and they gave me a $25 credit. So even with the extras, I think I did okay. So um, is BoxyCharm worth it? Yeah, you know, even with extras, they gave me a credit to buy stuff that I wanted, and I love their add-on sales. I love their pop-up add-on sales. They always have really good stuff, like name brands for really good prices, so okay, okay. I'm, I'm not unhappy with that. And then I have stuff to put in my giveaways or whatever I choose to do with them. Okay, here's Ipsy. I just realized I wanna put on some lipstick. My lips are looking pale. I think that looks better. Yeah, my eyebrows still look a little sad, but you know, whatever. Okay, Ipsy, here we go, let's get into this. Ipsy Plus, five things for $28. They're all full size. Oh, I always forget to mention it. I have referral codes for both Ipsy and BoxyCharm. So if you like any of these things and you wanna sign up and you're not already signed up, please use my referral codes. They're in the description box below. All right, let's, let's, let's move along. So they also have a card in their bag, but it doesn't say what you're getting. And I don't know why they don't just put what you're getting in the bag. Everybody wants it and they just don't do it because they don't, want to I don't know it talks about three ways to upcycle your glam bag but I always upcycle my glam bag like I put my kids markers and colored pencils and I store a lot of like it's a lot of art stuff actually a lot of the kids crafting stuff goes in these bags or like I use them for 
when we travel. Anyways, I, I use them for a lot of things. Yeah, I have a lot of them now, but I use them. They get, they get used, I promise. For that BoxyCharm, I didn't pick any of those items out because for the very first BoxyCharm, when you first sign up, they just send you the box. You don't get to pick any anything. So next month, I will have picked one of the items. For Ipsy Plus, I will have picked three of the items. I get to pick three of these items and then Ipsy picks the other two. So let me first start with the ones I picked and then show you the ones they picked for me. So Yenza, Yenza, I got a foundation, which is interesting because I just did a foundation organization slash declutter. So actually this is light medium. I think that'll be good for my summer skin. That's good, that's good. I actually found out through that process that a lot of my foundations were very, very, very pale. And I, I apparently accidentally go too pale way too often. So this is a super serum skin foundation. Nice serum foundation. Those are really nice. Those are really in right now. So I'm actually going to do what I did in the other video and put it here and see how well it matches. That's actually really nice. That matches really well. Better than what I have on now, which is all of my foundations together. So I think that'll be a good match. Nice. Yay for a serum foundation. Yay, okay, happy about that. And um, I picked it, so happy. This is the other thing I picked. <laughs> it is Golden Hour um, Palette, and it is Mango Butter Eyeshadow Palette. Um, and the brand is Beauty For Real, which is a brand I have never heard of. So it means it's either like a small brand or indie brand or a brand that's up and coming, but I have never heard of it. Ooh, it is bright, it is bright. So um, I got this one because I was thinking that this color looked gorgeous online. Here it looks very, very, very glittery. So I'm not as impressed with it as I wanted it to be because I was hoping to make, actually Dominique Cosmetics came out with a new palette that um, I watched Allie Dawson do a look with and she did this like, almost, it almost looked like the ocean. She did like kind of um, a beige color and then the blue color in it and it looked like the ocean because it was like sand and then the waves. And I was really inspired. To, I was like, I wanna do something like that. Boom, here comes this palette. But I feel like this color is a little bit too glittery for that and there isn't a really good sandy color. Maybe this one, I don't know. Maybe I'll still do it. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, yeah, that was why I got that. Last thing that I picked was this Quick Slick. And it is a hair essence. Interesting. But it is helps with your flyaways. Hair essence doesn't actually, that doesn't give a very good detailed explanation of what this is. What it is, is it's, it actually, oh man, it has plastic. I would have to tear this open and I don't know if I can right now. But you're supposed to like slick back your flyaways with it, which I think I think it's genius. So I was excited to get this. It's not a product that I have, not a product that I like need, a, I feel like a super need, but you know, like I have flyaways. So boom, you know, could use, could use. Was excited for it. Okay, then the two things that Ipsy picked out for me, brushes. I love hate brushes. Cause I think that they're necessary to have them, but they're not exciting. I don't know. I feel like when I have so many brushes, I just end up using more and more brushes. And then when I have to clean them, I have this huge pile of brushes to, brushes to clean. I don't know. I might end up putting this in a giveaway. I'm not, I'm not sure about those. I'm not sure. I'm not, I just, the pr thing is I just went, got a whole bunch of brushes from Refer and they're really, really nice brushes. And so I kind of want to use those. Why? I don't know if I want to use these Farrah brushes. They do look pretty, pretty sturdy. They have daisies on them, which is kind of pretty. Um, they're not really, there's, it looks like there's maybe two, three face brushes and one eyeshadow brush, which is nice. For the ones from um, Refer, I got pretty much all eyeshadow brushes. So uh, I'm on the fence about that one. I'm on the fence. Then the last thing I got from Ipsy is this Misha Beauty. Is it Misha or Misho? I don't know. Um, it is a blush palette, which I love blush. I don't know if I love blush palettes because I never remember to use them because they the, I have a drawer for my blushes and then I my blush palettes don't fit in that drawer. 
it's just this whole thing, but it's that, this is really gorgeous. This one is shimmery. These three are matte. This one, I, I really love this color. This like purpley mauvey color. Oh, really pretty stunning. I do. I really love it. You get me with a blush. You get me with a blush. I love blush. I would have to say if I were to be comparing and contrasting the boxes, the Ipsy versus Boxy Charm, I don't know if it's fair because I was able to choose three of the five items in my Ipsy, which is, whereas the Boxy Charm, I wasn't able to choose any of them, but Boxy or Ipsy, Ipsy is clearly the winner here. But Boxy Charm what did have six items versus Ipsy's five items. So maybe does that kind of make it more fair? Still, and I had three repeats in the boxy term, but I did get a credit. Still, Ipsy wins. Ipsy definitely wins because there's only one item that I'm kind of like on the fence about. Um, so yeah, yeah, Ipsy definitely wins. Thank you, Ipsy. <laughs> and this is why I quit boxy term because Ipsy, Ipsy was winning every single time. Okay, let's get to the Odin's Eye. So let's start with the small box. This was the $45 box. It will have four things in it and at least four. One, two, three, four. Yes, four things. Okay, so the first thing, it's kind of a two-parter, It, but really one. So here is a, does it have an explanation for what this, is, like an actual name for this? It is the dry brush cleaning sponge. So I actually already have something like this. It is from Color Switch, but mine gets, you can't tell, actually that looks pretty clean. One side is for, <laughs> that's my concealer side, and then this side I use as my eyeshadow side. So one side is much cleaner than the other. I don't feel like it's a problem to have too many of these. My mom actually just bought one during the Sephora sale, and I'm like, man, now I have another one. I could have just given her this. <laughs> oh, they gave me an extra. I thought I'd have to put this in here, but I got two. Oh, well that's nice. That's nice. Yay. There's an extra when this one wears out. Well, that's, that's just plain nice. Okay, cool. So I got the dry brush cleaning sponge. So that is really cool. I really like that because I have a lot of brushes. Okay, then I got the Alva cream lip stain. So I already have a lip stain that I bought from um, during the Black Friday sale. So I knew that I had bought some things during the Black Friday sale from Odin's Eye. So it was possible that I was gonna get some repeats, but I, as of right now, not. I got, per, I, during the Black Friday sale, I got Perfect Plum, and right now I have Sweet Tulip. So no repeat so far, but it's very possible to get some repeats. So I'm not, I'm expecting, I'm expecting repeats. Let's just say, oh wow. It is a, a burnt orange shade there. Let's get to the real meat of this box. We got a highlighter palette. I think I know why that they put these in a um, mystery box because this one says it expires 4-29-2022. But it also says when you open it, you have 36 months. So it says, expiration 4 2022 but it also says 36 months so which one do i trust i would say since it was wrapped in plastic i probably have the 36 months but it's not great that's not a great thing but i mean when you get a mystery box you're not gonna get a, you, you, they put them in a mystery box for a reason. It's not It's not usually the new and the best stuff. Okay, so it is some highlighters. And I think these are all really very pretty. This one is a little bit too pink to be a highlighter for me, but maybe I could use that as like a blush topper. But those are really pretty. I really like those. Nice, highlighter palette. So I have now a blush palette and a highlighter palette. The blush one from Ipsy. Okay, now last but not least from this box, we have an eyeshadow palette. And I'm really excited about this one because I love Odin's Eyes eyeshadow palettes. So, and this one doesn't have an expiration date on it. That's great. This one just says the 36 months. Not, there's no expiration date. So that's good. There we go. And here, this is the Alva eyeshadow palette. 
pretty, very, very, very warm toned. Very. So actually, everybody, I just made a discovery. So how are you doing? Those look very similar, don't they? Yeah, actually, I don't know, but this one's kind of brighter. This one has like a true red and then it doesn't have this duo duochrome in the middle, like that light, light, light. Like this doesn't have a really light inner corner color, whereas this one does. Huh, interesting, Never mind. I was thinking, okay, I can get rid of the uh, Beauty Bakery one. But no, actually, I kind of like the Beauty Bakery one because it had the thing, the, it was it had that those bright colors plus the inner color, corner colors. Huh, I just surprised myself. Okay, so the, the $75 one didn't come in a fun box that said Odin's Eye on it, it's just this box, which is fine, but it's always fun to get it in a fun box. Although when you open it up, it does say Odin's Eye. So there you go. First things, this one should, this was one $75, this one should have eight things in it. It does. It has eight things in it. So we're going to start with the biggest thing and it has some brushes. More brushes. These are really cool though. I mean, it comes with this, like basically this travel. I, I'd say if I, when I travel with brushes, I never know what to put them in. So here we go. Here is how I can travel with brushes. This is really nice. And I love this ombre pink to green. Love that. So here are some nice eyeshadow brushes. Awesome, I really like that. Because, I don't know, I've never tried Odin's eye, eyeshadow brushes. Do I need more eyeshadow brushes? No, but now I have some, so yay. Okay, then we have some more lipstick. Four, wait, you can't see that. Four lipsticks. Okay, we have two of the lip stains. Okay, none of them are repeats. Yay. So I have Perfect Plum and Sweet Tulip from the other box and Black Friday. And now I have Apricot Girl and Water Lily. Yay, sweet. The Water Lily is maybe not a color that is my color. Maybe I shouldn't have put this lipstick on. Like I was thinking my face needed lipstick and now I get all this lipstick. Good job, Bianca. Okay, Water Lily. Oh, it's prettier than I thought. So that one was the new Sweet Tulip on the bottom. And then from this new box, this one is Water Lily. And actually the Water Lily is, I like it better than the Sweet Tulip. I didn't think it would go in that direction. Then we have Apricot Girl. Some of them are matte and some of them are cream. So it depends on. This Apricot Girl one is a matte and the Water Lily, is that what it was? Water Lily is a cream, so nice. I feel like they're all very warm, but that's okay. They're all really pretty. I think that they're a pretty color combination. Okay, so then we have some lipsticks. So we have um, Tulip A Kiss and Fig Jam. So what I got from the Black Friday sale, I got Fig Jam and Light Peach. So I have an extra Fig Jam. This can go in a giveaway or whatever. Yay, but I do have Tulip A Kiss, which is new to me. And this one is a cream lipstick. And cream lipsticks, I'm actually not the hugest fan of cream lipsticks because I feel like they get everywhere, especially on my teeth. And then I'm like, how long did I have this lipstick on my teeth, Bianca? How long? Nobody told me. Good, none on my teeth now. This plastic, it just sticks. Get off of me, plastic. Here's the sweet tulipa. They're all the same color, <laughs> or they're all in the same color family at least. I got a highlighter. So here's another repeat. Fine. I actually have this highlighter. I got it from Black Friday sale. So I, and it looks like this, it is the um, Norns Odin's Eye, or the Norns Mesmerizer Web of Destiny. Looks like this. It's really pretty, it's really duochrome. It's actually kind of creamy. And so I am not going to open this one. It is also going to go in the giveaway pile. Okay, okay. Then I got another repeat, which, so the first box was really good, no repeats. The second box has been a little less desirable because it has had three repeats, which is less, less cool, 
Um, but this one, I have, it has a caveat because the one that I own is broken. See, this eyeshadow is, is, is broken and gone. The, now this new one is not broken. It's there. Yeah, it's a repeat, but it's brand new and not broken. So this one will go to a friend because it's broken. I'm not going to put it on Poshmark, um, or give it in a giveaway. This one will go to a friend. This one will be new, and I now have one that is not open. Yay! Or last but not least in this box, the most exciting thing is a palette. This is the Saga of Freya, Freya Saga palette. So this is the whole one, the one that is like two palettes in one. And I didn't get this one from uh, when I was getting things from um, Black Friday because uh, it was more expensive, I guess. And I was, I was, kind of intimidated by one side and it's this side this green and orange side green is a hard color for me to wear and orange is a hard color for me to wear so I was intimidated by it but there are some absolutely stunning like look at this bottom row this bottom row stunning really very pretty this shade right here has like green and pink in it it's crazy um then this shade and this shade is really pretty this shade it's a, it's a little bit bright. It's a bright, it's pumpkin orange right there, right there, which, you know, could be good for Halloween. Um, that is a bright emerald green, which is my favorite color of all time. Can I wear it on my eyes? I, uh, you know what I found that I have a hard time with greens is more of the emerald or more of the olive green. Cause my eyes are like olive green. So this might not actually clash with my eyes. Um, and those ones are really pretty. So I'm great, great. Then this side is absolutely oh, bonkers. It is <sighs> stunning. It is like a miraculous. I don't know. It's it's this like mulberry, uh, beautiful. Like this is this is this is gorgeous. I don't know. I wish I could have just bought this side, and I actually kind of did, kind of. When I was buying for from Black Friday, I only bought this one, the one that is only this big. Um, and it has more of these colors, but it doesn't. This one is deeper and richer than this one. And I like this side better. So I'm really glad to have this. And this side is like a little out of my comfort zone, but that's okay. It's fun to push my comfort zone. So I'm really excited. Yes, I got three repeats, but one will exchange for a broken one. And two will go in giveaway slash Poshmark. So, okay. I do have to say that the first one was better. The first one was better because it had an entire palette. It had an eye, a, a lipstick that I don't, I have, I've never, you know, I don't, it's not a repeat. The highlighter palette and, and then the brush cleaner. And the brush cleaner, I guess, is kind of a repeat because I have a brush cleaner. So let's, let's maybe, it's, I just don't have the Odin's Eye one. Uh, you know, considering how much I bought from Odin's Eye during the Black Friday sale, and I only got three repeats out of 12 items, I, it, it's better than I was expecting. I, I could have done got a lot more repeats. To have nine completely new items, uh, it was 45 plus 75, but then it was minus 450 equals minus 750. It was 108. So nine new items for $108. Yeah, pretty good. And some things that I can put in a giveaway. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Like it, like it, thumbs up. I am really excited about these new um, Odin's Eye items. I'm really excited about my new BoxyCharm and Ipsy items. Yes, Boxy, or yes, Ipsy one. Next month is actually the Ipsy X and I actually skipped it. It's a, every month or every three months, Ipsy does an Ipsy X where they do um, either a celebrity or an influencer. And this influencer, I have no idea who she is. And I looked at the things, like they give you a, a sneak peek of the things that they're putting in the box. And it is mostly skincare. And the, the things that are not skincare, the makeup, I like half. Um, so yeah, I actually skipped it. I, I, I actually am still have Ipsy for the Ipsy X. But this Ipsy X, I'm just not excited for. Um, I didn't super love the one by Addison Rae. It was a lot of skincare. I think it was like seven out of the eight things were skincare. Um, so this one, it seemed kind of the same way. I think it's interesting because these young influencers are, are very heavy on skincare when they're so young. I, it's, I guess it's good to get into skincare so early. I would think that the older 
ones would be more into skincare and the younger ones would be more into makeup, but um, they're, they're thinking about their skin early, which is good. But I already have so much skincare from these subscription boxes that skincare just doesn't excite me. So um, I skipped it. So I'm not going to have an ipsyx next month. I'm gonna save the money and I'm gonna put it towards something else. Yay! All right, I hope that you liked this video. If you did, or give it a thumbs up. If you like me, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want to be notified of my videos, push the bell. And remember, most importantly, to be nice to yourself because you're amazing. Have a great day, bye!